Oh, you do what? Oh, share the show. Oh. Good morning, everyone, including <laughs> Good morning. you. My name, God, this scarf is fucking hot. Yeah, you I thought have it made looked good. I thought it looked good. Oh. <laughs> Sometimes when things look good, that's not what it feels like. All right. <laughs> so, welcome to another exciting episode yes. of. Feel it real fun. Your manifesting questions oh my answered God, live yes. I gotta today, this 30th of January 2020. Oh my God, I tell you what, that woman, sometimes 30th. I just want to grab her by the face. 31st <laughs> of January. There you go. Uh, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> Jenny's here. Welcome to another exciting episode. That's feel right. it real fun. So, go, go. All right. All oh, these manifesting mastery people Jenny, Go, Go, Anise, uh, Triple D, Scott, MM, Alice. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. Oh. So, Try go to, to freenevel.com. That's right. Subscribe to our 221 email list. You You're not hitting me. All right. <laughs> Subscribe to our 221 email list. Yes, yes, joy, manifesting uh, join us in manifestingmasterycourse.com. That's right. That's that 90 day adventure actually does something, right? That's right. Or you can dick around for a couple of years. I, I like the guy that sends me seven emails a week and he says, I like trying to figure this out on my own. That's why I don't do courses. <laughs> How's that fucking working for you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. anyway. And for refunds, go to feel it real. Fun.com. All right. M.M. Martina. M.M. Yes. Alona. Oh, my God. Triple D. Scott. Hello. So, shall yes. we dive in, Victoria? Because this is the big show. Away. So, we've got one from Barbara in Dream Driven Day. That's right. Hello, Barbara. We've titled it Neville and Meditation. Yes. 20. Did Neville practice meditation? And do you? I did never see now here's what's cool I have no idea what the word meditation means because when people tell me I meditate I say wow cool how do you do that and they say well like uh, some people light a candle they breathe in incense they count their breaths right some other people they do guided visualizations some people just do abstract I feel my body becoming warm liquid so I have no idea what the word meditation even means right all I know is for most people it means do something that takes a long time <sighs> After 42 breaths, I'm beginning to feel, ah, oh, I'm not saying it's bad or good, right? I'm mm. just saying meditation, is, it's sort of like asking, did Neville eat pizza? What kind of pizza? Did he eat Italian food? I don't know. Uh, so for the most part, if you feel like meditating, meditate. Neville did explore consciousness a lot because he came up with a cute little phrase. Victoria might know it. Consciousness is the only reality. Oh my God, yeah, <laughs> right? Yes. And when you get that, I mean, you get that astral travel, easy, traveling through time, easy, revision, easy, it does change things that are real, talking to dead people, easy, right? <laughs> yeah, you don't need a psychic medium or large or small, you just uh, explore consciousness is the only reality. So uh, my other piece of advice, because I get this all the time, don't combine meditation with feeling it real. I can just generally, I mean, if you want to, go for it, right? But I want you to get that in two steps. Yeah, I, I can drop into the state akin to sleep just by slowing down a tiny bit and feeling her yum. And lunch happens. Right? Boom. Cool. Getting the getting in the habit of speed. Right? Mm -hmm. Meditation's mostly about duration. Think about oh <clears throat> Okay, this light is weird. <laughs> Right, or you can just like right, boom. Yeah. Right. I'm more into boom than home right now. Okay. So, any thoughts on that, <laughs> there Victoria? There you go, Barbara. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. To be honest, any thoughts? Yeah, I love actually when I go to yoga, I love at the end we always do a meditation. Yep. But it is totally different. Yeah, to totally different. Feeling it real. Do you smoke? Do I smoke? Yeah. Yeah. Do I occasionally <laughs> smoke cigars and drink whiskey? Yes. Yep. Cool. Yeah. Again, is it enjoyable? I love seriously sitting around with a stogie for like an hour and a half. But it ain't feeling it real. I can feel it real while smoking, but it's like, oh, time for me to imagine something lovely. Mm. Again, mm. I'm just mentioning that because people get all wrapped up in stuff, mm. right? So, cool. <laughs> thanks for asking. Okay. Great question. Yes, excellent, Barbara. Thank you. And thank you. See you in Dream Driven Day. Yes. All right. The next question's from Ellen. The secret versus Neville. Oh my God! It's a cage match, a throwdown. Oh my God! <laughs> so it's me and Neville doing. A, I think we all remember uh, the secret, the tag team thing against <laughs> the, the Trisket. Right. Go for it. Could anyone elaborate on the difference between Neville and the secret? I find that Neville is more powerful, but can't articulate why. Cool. Thank you. So it's I don't get Neville's more powerful. I get that Neville teaches you where the steering wheel is. 
and versus the secret has you, you know, twisting that rear view mirror around a whole bunch, praying that. See, when you twist the rear view mirror around in your car, what you see does change, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> but meanwhile, the terrorized people in the car with you and the ones that are in front of the missile. Right? Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> All right. Boom. Let's fix that. Okay. All right. That was Bruce. <laughs> that was lucky. All right. So, okay. cool. Right. Cool. All right. Let's do a little change here. All right. Cool. So, We're back. Ready? How cool was that? I yes. can't wait to see what that looks like. <laughs> so, here's what's cool, guys. So, let's really nail some things in the Trisket. Ready? If you read the Trisket manuscript, I mean, or the tri- stage, the, what do you call it? Whenever they take the... Anyway, uh, the transcript. Right? Yes. Don't read the book. Read the transcript. And the transcript from will the film. say... From the film. Okay. And you'll notice it'll say, like, a long time ago... Bad, bad people hid the secret away from you. Bad mm. people did. Everyone knew it, but they hid it away so only the bad, bad people could take advantage of the secret. <laughs> but now, in this special time, in a special era, because it's special now and you're special too, the Trisket is now being revealed again. Oh my God, this is great. <laughs> so first of all, it's teaching that there are victims. Right? There's bad, 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 bad energy that controlled bad, bad people that took the good, good away from the masses. Yes. God damn. Kept I mean, it for the good good. Kept it, yeah, well, no, kept it for the bad bad. Kept it from the good good. <coughs> oh. But now, since it's a special time, right, you, now you can learn about the good good. Oh, my God. <clears throat> How cool is this? So, right. Second thing, the, the Trisket really blames a lot of secondary cause on things, right? If you just go through and notice what's going on in there, uh, there's all sorts of secondary cause in there. Third, uh, let's talk about inspired action because that's uh, a quote that shows up a lot. You'll be in, you'll take inspired action. Well, what does Neville teach? Neville teaches that when you're in the state of your wish fulfilled, all that you do and all that befalls you, mm. right, happens. Mm. You don't have to figure out, oh, is it inspired action or not inspired action? You know, because if there's not inspired action, that means, well, there's action that's not inspired. So how do I know, Mr. 20, if it's inspired action or not inspired action? I get so confused. Batshit crazy is confusing. Yep. Versus uh, the state of loving teacher, the state of loving wife, the state of loving husband. We do what we do. I don't have to go, oh, damn. Like, those are posies. Am I inspired to buy them, Victoria? Or am I not inspired? <laughs> do I want to buy them for an ulterior motive? Yeah. I mean, uh, well, sir with an H would probably appreciate it if I buy a flower. So would Victoria. So, <laughs> again, just gets yeah. nuts. Yeah. So, uh, skip all that. Cool. And boom. <laughs> so, Sweet. yeah, and Tony mentions, I can barely see because we yeah, got the Herman's thing all fucked in the up. Way. The Herman's in the way. I don't know if Herman's going to be. Can you see Herman down here? <laughs> so, so, anyway. so Herman's in the way, and I can barely see the comments, but I can see uh, Tony says something about the conspiracy theory aspect of it. Yeah, it is. I mean, it mm-hmm. really is. It's like, if you're going to buy, here's another thing I noticed. People that really buy into the secret, when I look at their timelines, they're also still buying into the builder bankers and the uh, Illuminatis and all that stuff. And it's mm. like, dude, right? There's either one cause or there's not. Yeah. Right? And if there's not, there's no fucking point to the Trisket. I mean, just put it in some milk, let it get soggy, throw Trisket. it out. It's a good name for it. Oh, Trisket. Yeah. Trisket. 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 <laughs> now, if you say Trisket with the Gollum voice. Oh, the Trisket. I oh, know. I was just going to say it's like precious. Trisket. <laughs> so, cool. love you guys. Love you. Excellent, Alan. <laughs> yeah, they, Thank you for yeah. that. Thanks for asking. This is good yes. shit. Gushi. Uh... Oh, the next question is from 2020. Oh, my God. (laughs) Imagine that, me asking a question on our show, Victoria. And we've titled it, Why Did I Make Up the Coffee Game? Why did I make up the coffee game? So I've got things here that you asked 20. Oh, yeah? 20. Let me see. (laughs) Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. So why did I make up the coffee game? Right? Uh, a lot of people get stuck in, well, I can't figure out what would imply my wish has been fulfilled. I've been trying to figure out what would imply my wish has been, okay, I'll make it a congratulatory conversation. All right, Gino, I'm so happy that you are now a gazillionaire and you've got six wives, one of each hair color. Doesn't feel real to me, right? So, yeah, you get it? You, you can't contrive this shit. On the other hand, uh, I bet you 90% of the people in the world drink coffee, mm-hmm. right? So I decided, you know what? Let's take a common everyday experience. How would you experience that differently if your wish were fulfilled, right? And, and it's this simple. Again, so if, if I was happily married instead of 
lonely living under a bridge, searching for my soulmate, like peeling back the cardboard, going, are you my soulmate? Nope. <laughs> you know, you're <laughs> stopping every car that goes by. Are you my soulmate? No. See, <laughs> see, if I was lonely living under a bridge and craving a soulmate, how would I experience coffee? I'd be like, I probably wouldn't even experience the coffee. I'd just be like daydreaming about the soulmate. And it's like, oh, oh yeah, coffee. It's on my crotch now. Right. So, <laughs> on the other hand, if, if I'm happily married, experiencing coffee, uh, I can sit over in that Ames chair and experience a sip of coffee and just enjoy what I feel as a loving husband, letting her sleep in, or what I feel as a loving husband, having made coffee with her, or what I feel as a loving husband, planning on buying flowers today from the lovely Sarah with an H. Mm -hmm. All that's experienced with it while you're having a sip of coffee, right? Any of those things. But it's just a sip. So a sip of, like, I hope I meet someone someday versus a sip of, ah, oh, I'm really blessed. Got it? So why did I make up the coffee game? Mm. Because it's an everyday experience. Uh, so I want you to take an everyday experience and just notice what would be different about it if your wish were fulfilled. That's why I made that up. A couple other things. In Dream Driven Day, we explore the four pillars of power. Uh, coffee is often a social thing. Right? So if you, if you didn't have to go trade time for dollars, mm. right, and you're having a coffee, here's what happens in my life, right? I don't trade time for dollars, neither mm. does she. Mm. And what happens is, like, uh, I probably have 100 friends at the pool. Mm. They, they, you know, I've had coffee with very few, if none of them. But it's the same kind of thing, because, like, if you had coffee, instead of having coffee in your car while sitting in traffic, rushing to a job that you wouldn't go to or to see people you wouldn't hang out with unless they're paying you not enough money to barely survive on, uh, how would you enjoy a sip of coffee if you were double your income work half the time? I'd be hanging with her. You get it? Hmm. Even if she's not in the house, even if she's outside, it's like, Oh, yeah, I'm just chilling with my coffee instead of trying to drink it while shifting the gear while the guy in the Toyota in front of me with one of his brake lights burned out. Uh, yeah, got it? Yeah. So that's why we invented the coffee game. Eliminate all the head game of trying to figure out what would imply my wish has been fulfilled and just go to, ask this question, right? Pick a typical event from your typical day, and how would that be different if your wish were fulfilled? Hmm. Boom. There's more, but that's good enough for that. Cool. So, Okay. Cool. So thank you, 2020. Oh my God! I, your question. Yep, absolutely. <laughs> By the way, if you want to get stuck on this, split hairs, right? Just really split hairs, uh, and just try to figure it all out. The whole idea of the coffee game is to get you to stop figuring it out and just notice. All right? How would I experience coffee knowing that I'd get along with her? Mm. Nice. Versus how do I experience <laughs> coffee with her? Uh, hope she stays that outside. Grumpy bum. <laughs> right? Boom. Right? You get it? Yeah. Cool. So. Sweet. Romeo. Cool. All right. Okay. The next question's from Dream Driven Day Jake. Yep. The first principal. Um, and Jake asks, how easy is the first principle? It is either the hardest thing in the world or the easiest. It's hard if you think you have to quiet the mind. My job is to find the silence, to quiet the mind. Uh, to find the space between two thoughts. If you try to do that, it's really hard. On the other hand, if you're willing to accept that you are the silence that all the movement happens within, if you weren't silent right now, you couldn't hear my voice, right? And you couldn't notice what's going on in your imagination. You are the stillness, the silence that notices all this. So if you philosophically, remember philosophy drives technology, if you philosophically are willing to get, you know what, I'm not my physical body, I'm not my history, I'm not my bullshit, what I am is silence. And within that silence, the way I condition it is determines what happens. So now it's like the silence is always there. And if I start spinning out, and I, the only reason you can ever spin out is that you identify with part of the downstream. You identify with a wave or you identify with what the wave's pushing around mm -hmm. versus, right, what you are is silent. Boom. Done. You get that, it's easy. Skip that, it's hard. Skip it and you end up meditating for hours. I'm trying to find <clears> that <throat> silence after 10 minutes. I can hear the neighbor beating his wife. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Dream Driven Jesse's here. Boom. <laughs> All right. So, 
Victoria. Okay. Excellent. Again, sorry we can't really see your comments or questions today with the incident that happened Ooh, the earlier. Incident. The incident. <laughs> He's snoozalooing. <laughs> the incident now. is now snoozalooing. <laughs> Victoria has cool words. <laughs> like fruit tingles. I make them up like you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, snoozalooing. Okay, right. excellent. Boom. Thanks, Jake. The next question is from Clay on Facebook. Hey, Clay. Someone suggested you may be able to explain a deep question about LOA and science that I have. This is going to be good fun. Where does the perspective of higher frequency people come from? I have no idea. More specifically, higher frequency is better than lower frequency is the consistent message. Is that right? I find that people that are all sorts of like, 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 like bing, 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 bing about money don't have any. I find people that are all bing, 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 bing about soulmates don't have one. <laughs> I think pe people, on the other hand, right, you experience that sip of coffee knowing that, ah, uh, just experience that happy, loving husband state. Hmm. The coffee is much more vivid, much more enjoyable versus, oh, I hope I find her. hope she's not dead. hope she didn't die while married to somebody else. What if she has a twin? I don't know. Would that be my soulmate? Or would that be a twin mate of a soul flame or a soul flame of a twin mate? <laughs> what if she was a lesbian and then maybe her lover would be, yeah. <laughs> right? Uh, versus, let's talk Neville for a moment. Be still and know. I am God. People that get that they create wealth, get they create wealth. It's like the time Brucey e lacerated his paw and we're going to the vets. I go, all right, time to dial up the wealthometer. Right, <laughs> Donna. I, mean, that you, I don't. I didn't have to make a decision like most people would. Do we fix it or not? Right. He's my friend. Right. He just fucked up the show. <laughs> yeah. So what do I do? I just dial up the wealthometer. Okay. That versus Bing, 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 Bing. Right. Yeah. This whole high vibration thing. And I know someone's going to say, "Oh no, no, that's not what it means, Mister Twenty. It means positive emotions versus negative emotions." Let me tell you something. Right. Somebody once punted my dog. Right, I was not a happy fucking camper, and I went over and I said, "You don't kick my dog," and the lady says, "I will if I want to," and the husband says, Are "You talking to my wife?" And I said, "Yeah, I am." Right? She shouldn't punt my dog. Yeah. Right? You get it? That's called an upset. Right? That's okay. Loving puppy dad knows if people punt his dog, he's going to go after them, and if he goes after them, then it gets really messy. Right? Yeah. So you can have a negative emotion. Right? Loving puppy dead had a negative emotion. Hmm. Right? That's fine. On the other hand, if I was happy, happy, joy, joy, look, some lady's punting my dog. Yay! Happy, happy, joy, joy. <laughs> right? That's nuts. Yep. You get it? So this whole high frequency, low frequency, positivity, negativity. Uh, when you get your what gives life, you will have the reactions you need to have. And so on and so forth. And this whole thing of high frequency people, low frequency people. Oh my God. It's a hoot, isn't it? It's mm. just, I don't get it. Hmm. Yeah, you know, like, yeah, she can be in a good mood or a bad mood. How many times a day am I in a good mood or a bad mood? Or you, right? It, it can vary, <laughs> right? But am I going, Victoria, you're being a low-frequency person right now. <laughs> For you to get what you <laughs> want in life, you better up your frequency, right? Well, maybe we could kiss more frequently. That'd be fun. I mean, I'm always into kissing her, right? It's like if she said, 20, we're going to play a game. As we're going to kiss each other twice as much in half the time. I'll go, damn, that sounds like fun. <laughs> <laughs> you get it? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Hope that helped. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Clay, for your question. <laughs> Thanks, Clay. That was fun. Yeah. Like, we can do a take two some other time, but that was good. Yeah. I, I thought it was good. <laughs> I'm having fun. The next question is <laughs> from Amber in Manifesting Mastery. Ooh, uh. Is the visual necessary or is it enough to feel the peace and happiness of the end result? The life and person you want. Okay, I've got a Neville Goddard quote coming yes. up. Ready? I love this one. Victoria, would you like to read the Neville Goddard quote to go with Amber's question? Okay, so Neville would say, does say, did say, <laughs> how would you feel if you saw the world from the state of your wish fulfilled? Cool. So I shared this with the Dream Driven Day groups as well right now today. And I did it for a reason. Uh, this is a goody dream-driven day question because here's what happens as far as I can tell. If I enter into the feeling of the state of my wish fulfilled, I gather experience from that state, right? So it's not a matter of I have to see her happy or even hear her yum. What I enter into is I start feeling, what would I feel if I experienced her yum? 
And so, so there's that, what would I feel if I experienced her yum? And so suddenly I experience her yum and I can hear it. And then it's like, oh, I taste pork. Pork sounds like fun. And then I go and find me some pork. At, I mean, then Trudy will be back there going 50% off. And I go, perfect. I'll wait for the next one too. And I'll take that because that's how much pork I need for her yum. Right? She eats a lot of pork. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, so you get it? So yeah. here's the thing. So there's a debate out there. Uh, scenes or no scenes. You're always imagining in scenes. Always. The thing is they're not movies. A scene is like a little snapshot. A uh, good way to define it. Remember my whole listening to traffic thing. In the morning. Okay, I listen to traffic instead of being in traffic. I'm sitting in my Ames chair instead of my driver's seat. I'm drinking my coffee mm. with Victoria mm. instead of 7-Eleven coffee in my car. Yeah. And I'm answering your emails because I love you versus getting mm. paid to go put up with people who I wouldn't talk to if they didn't pay me enough to barely get by. Mm. And all that's experienced in a second. <laughs> right? That's a scene versus you know, the 10 minute monologue of, gee, Bob, I'm so proud of you that you are a gazillionaire and have six wives <laughs> each with one of the various hair colors that are approved. <laughs> <laughs> right. So the big thing, the feeling, but notice as you nail the feeling, this also goes back to that whole, isn't it wonderful thing? Mm -hmm. You nail the feeling and then the stuff shows up and, and it deepens the feeling. That's the big thing. Cause it's one thing to get into the knowing of loving puppy dad. But then just experiencing that joy of like looking out there and like the joy I'd feel seeing my dog out there. And then like the frustration I'd feel as he fuck hits the tripod. <laughs> and then back to loving teacher and loving puppy dad in an instant. Right? So, so you'll notice tripod got hit. Right? Mm. We could have gone negative emotion, negative vibration, slow vibration, game End over. End the show. End the show. <laughs> Y'all hate us anyway. Right? <laughs> you don't pay me enough to do this shit. Right? Or, right, boom. Dream Driven Francis is here, I see, as well, for, oh, through are. Herman. <laughs> cool. Where is the camera this time? Oh, uh, the camera's over there. Hi. It's always opposite of this thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's the tail that. end, there's the end that licks. Sweet. Yes. The end that licks. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> okay. Excellent, Amber. Hope you like that quote as well. Thank you for your That's question. a goodie. It really is. Yeah. I mean, the whole philosophy just drills right down into what do you need to do to experience the knowing? Explore that. Experience that. And you'll notice even it may evolve, which is cool. Mm. So, mm. boom. The next question is from Daniela in Manifesting Mastery. Oh, my God. All these cool kids. Do I require to use my five senses during the revision? Not sure if I'm doing it right all the time or just sometimes. Cool. Notice how it fits in with the previous one. Now, here's my question for you. This is where awareness comes in. How do you relive bullshit? Hmm. Because when you get, like, it, for example, for some people, congratulatory conversations are a very powerful tool because they're afraid of what people will say. When I, when I talk to someone and I can drill down a little bit and it's like, man, I'm just afraid of what my family's going to say. I say, cool. Mm -hmm. All right, let's imagine grandma happy for you. What would she say? Mm -hmm. right, oh, I don't know. My grandma's never been happy for me. Well, then fuck her. <laughs> right? <laughs> Who would be happy for you? What, what would they say? How would you feel hearing them say what they would say? Right? There's the thing, right? So for other people, it doesn't really, they don't really give a shit what other people say. They actually look, they want to know how people, what matters to them is how people see them. Mm -hmm. Right? So if I walk into the pool and I see my friend Lucas and he goes, hey, right? Lucas mm -hmm. sees me a certain way and say, cool, right? Mm -hmm. So I imagine that. Lucas doesn't have to say, 20, you are looking hot today. So thank you, Lucas. <laughs> <laughs> but if Lucas is just going, hey, right? And, I, and I'm the kind of person who I respond to the way people see me. Again, that's a congratulatory conversation in a way. But I want you to notice how do you get stuck? Dream Driven Kathy is here too. So this is the thing. How do you relive something? In other words, it's like, oh man, I want to revise this because it bothers me. Well, how does it bother you? Right? Does it say, is there a voice in your head? Is there something that you see? What is what, what, what flips the trigger for the tones of reality for you? And also, anytime you can add the five senses in, or the four pillars of power, or any of the things that we explore in the different courses, mm. do that. Because the, the whole thing of, of really nailing, what makes it real for you? Exactly. I was just going to say that, because in life, um, if I... Uh, whatever I'm doing, it's like I might 
see and smell something but i'm not instantly also going to be touching and hearing and like the whole lot all in one go in one scene do you know what i mean sure and like i was thinking with your coffee game how it might be that you feel the warmth of the cup yeah for some people that'll be it coffee maybe just those two but it's not like oh i see it and i can hear it what sort of do you know what i mean it's like it doesn't make sense to bring all five senses into one scene to it, me. It'll happen as it happens. Here's what's cool. So the thing that might tip you, what's the difference between 7-Eleven coffee and your own coffee? And it's like, well, like mine comes from here, that comes from there. That's the world of data. That'll drive you nuts. What's the difference in your experience of a 7-Eleven versus a coffee at home? Mm. And for me, it begins with the mug. Mm-hmm. Right? I'm, not dra- I'm not grabbing that lovely coffee mug that Victoria got me the travel mug I'm grabbing one of our free Neville Neville. mugs yeah and it feels different in my hand Mm. right the sound of it hitting the table when I sit it down (laughs) (laughs) I'm a man I drink manly coffee right Uh, you get it it's those little things you get to find out what trips the trigger for you Mm. it could be like yeah I'm sipping coffee but it doesn't feel real yeah it's because you're making a fuzzy movie about sipping coffee versus yeah. right what's the difference between 7-Eleven coffee and coffee knowing that you're happily married financially independent so on and so forth and it's not going to be and I have used the most exclusive coffee beans I import them one at a time from Saudi Arabia <laughs> <One at a time. laughs> my friend Jeeves one brings them over at a time. one bean at a time I have to fill out the customs form for every bean it takes a month to make a cup of coffee <laughs> no 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 right by the way here's another thing ready yeah I want to know if somebody's really getting this they're having fun with it whatever it is more fun mm. peanut butter game Right? How much fun do we have when I go back? You peanut love butter. the peanut butter method. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'll be there. Or the Burt method. The That's Burt the other method, one right? Loves. They're all fun. <laughs> right. We're at the store. How would you buy peanut butter if you doubled your income worked half the time? I walk around the corner and go, damn, it's on sale. Right? <laughs> I got total strangers looking. I'll say, have you tried this peanut butter? Yeah, how often do I talk to strangers? All, all the time. The time. Right? <laughs> they're, they're taking peanut butter home with them. I don't even like peanut butter. That's okay because you haven't tried this one. I mean, it's, it's, on, it's half price. <laughs> Yeah. I have a lot of fun, right? So if you want to have another thing, how to bring the tones of reality into it, dial up the fun, mm. right? How much fun am I having sipping coffee in the morning? Damn. Yeah. Right? <laughs> Versus, <Yeah>. damn it, <laughs> right? Yeah, try to drink Nabil's coffee while sitting in traffic and mm. Toyota in front of you. Not exactly fun. Not exactly fun. All right. So, so that I think that's today's show. Daniela. That was Thanks from Daniela. Thanks for that, Daniela. All righty. Yes. So. That is today's show. That is today's show. Even if you had a question, we couldn't see yeah, it anyway. Yeah, we can't anyway, see it today because Because Herm and the upset. microphone's in the way. Yeah. Because of the upset. The upset. <laughs> oh, I love being the upset dad. <laughs> All righty. Excellent. So, Victoria. Yes. Let's ask them the question that you love to ask. I'll even explain what it is. And I'll okay. And mine even. Okay. Well, maybe uh, you can ask me. Well. What I'd like to know, 20, yes, and the listening audience. Oh, my God. Wherever you are, on the YouTubes, the Facebooks, the refunds. What was your strawberry bit? I can't type it in. Right? It would really mess the show up. But I'll tell you my strawberry bit. My strawberry bit is always how the questions weave together. Yeah. Right? It's the coolest thing for me. Because if you notice, I mean, for the most part, the questions wove together really cool, and they contribute to each other. Hmm. So if you tune in late, make sure you watch it from the beginning. If you're at the beginning, make sure you watch it the whole way through so you can hear me tell you this now. All right, so that's my strawberry bit. That's his strawberry bit. That and Victoria's smile. And I liked, um, I wasn't even thinking about it. Like at the end, how I sort of said, like just clutching, holding the warm coffee mug. Yep. And I kept going and saying and then smelling the coffee. But even, and you jumped in and just said, even that could be it. Yep. Totally. Just feeling that warm coffee mug, just like, I don't know, just feels so, I don't know, That's it. yummy. Yep. By the way, you watch her. Yeah. She, she's just, oh, yes. Yeah. Right? So. Boom. That's my strawberry bit. Hope All you right. guys got a strawberry, a goodie strawberry bit. Yep. Let Type them know. in. We'll read them later because Herman. So, Meanwhile, shall we tell them? Go to freenevel.com. Get on that 221 email list. It's free, right? I know we shouldn't say that word. The marketers say, don't say free. It's actually <laughs> a small investment of time every day, right? Maybe five minutes to read something really cool. Power snack, right? Yeah. 
fuckery cool. until one of us dies. Yeah. Meanwhile. <laughs> Meanwhile, join us in manifestingmasterycourse.com. It's a 90-day program full of rigid structure. It's a lot of fun, though. <laughs> but, but, it's a lot of fun. Uh, like 90 experiences designed to get you from A to B. It's sort of like if you're driving from Pittsburgh to Portland, I mean, you could bounce all over the U.S. It could take you decades, right? <laughs> or you could just drive the right route, and we could tell you where to go, what to stop, what to eat, what not to eat. <laughs> yeah, don't eat the clams. Cool. And so, manifestingmasterycourse.com. <laughs> don't eat the clams. <laughs> Neville loved clams. Yeah, Neville he? loved clams. So do I. And for refunds, go to our YouTube channel, feelitrealfun.com. That's right. Over a thousand bits and a whole bunch that... Uh, it's just good, guys. It's yeah. just good. It, yeah. It's good. Good for you. <laughs> yeah, good for you. Cool. All right. That's it. Love you guys. Have a lovely Love day. Yours. Have a great day night. Boom. See you all soon. All of you. We will. Because we're going to turn all your cameras on. And then we'll <laughs> see you. We'll <laughs> go. Oh, my God. Tony, I love your outfit. <laughs>